I'm here again to share to you the part 2. Title, The Last Message, Part 2, Unravel Truths. After the shocking reveal, Sarah stood frozen, her mind racing. Her brother, Ethan, had vanished years ago under mysterious circumstances. Now, here he was, alive and standing in her living room, but the joy of reunion was overshadowed by confusion and fear. Ethan? Is it really you? She stammered, her voice barely above a whisper. He stepped closer, his eyes filled with a mix of desperation and anger. You thought I was gone. You never even looked for me. Mia, still clutching the kitchen knife, stepped protectively in front of Sarah. What do you want, Ethan? Why scare her like this? Ethan's expression shifted, a flicker of hurt crossing his face. I wanted you to remember me. To feel something. You moved on without me. Sarah's heart ached. She had tried to forget the pain of losing him, but the memories flooded back, search parties, and answered questions, and the day they finally declared him dead. We thought you were gone. We had no choice. Ethan shook his head, frustration boiling over. You have no idea what I went through. I was taken, trapped. I escaped, but I needed to know if you cared enough to find me. Mia interjected, this isn't the way to do it. You can't just terrorize her. Ethan's gaze hardened. You don't understand. I had to make sure she still felt something. I needed to see if she would fight for me. Suddenly, the lights flickered back on, revealing the chaos of the room. Sarah's heart raced as she processed his words. Ethan, you don't have to do this. Just tell me what happened. He hesitated, the mask of anger slipping away. I was taken by a group that wanted to use me for something. I escaped, but they were still looking for me. I thought if I reached out, I could see if you'd help me. Fear gripped Sarah. Help you? From what? Before he could answer, a loud crash echoed from the back of the house. The three of them turned, eyes wide with terror. The back door had been forced open. Shadows moved in the hallway. Ethan, they found you. Sarah shouted, panic rising in her throat. He grabbed her wrist, urgency in his voice. We need to leave, now. They dashed toward the front door, but it swung open revealing two men in dark clothing. There you are, one of them sneered, eyes locked on Ethan. You thought you could run? Mia raised the knife, but Ethan pushed Sarah behind him. Stay back. I won't let you take me again. The tension in the room was palpable. Sarah's mind raced. She had to think fast. Ethan, we can't fight them. We need a plan. Just then, she remembered the old cellar in the basement. The cellar. We can hide there. Ethan nodded, determination flashing in his eyes. They bolted toward the basement door, but the men were closing in. As they reached the stairs, one of the men lunged forward, grabbing Ethan. Sarah screamed, but Mia pulled her down the stairs just in time. They slammed the cellar door shut, hearts pounding. In the darkness, they huddled together, breaths shallow. What now? Mia whispered, fear evident in her voice. Ethan leaned against the wall, trying to catch his breath. They won't stop until they find me. We need to figure out how to get out of here. Suddenly, Sarah's phone buzzed again, illuminating the dark cellar. It was another message from the unknown number, you can't hide forever. The suspense thickened as they realized they were not just fighting for Ethan's freedom, but for their lives as well. To be continued. If you like part 3 comment down, thanks for watching, here in Twister 1914 Story.